Good morning. This is Monday, twenty first of December. Um, today I'm going to start doing the greenhouse. And want you to see what the materials are. These are all, all um. These are all um repurposed materials. Um, well, my oh my neighbor's trailers was um renovated and there was a bunch of timber um that they just throw away and just pick up the t <laughs> the timber and bring it home and that's way that i do my chicken coop over there was 90 percent um second hand um repurposed materials I just have to buy wire and some timber to finish the door and paint and screws and all of the rest of the materials was uh, repurposed for the construction the renovation of the other trailer and for the greenhouse I'm going to say just the base of the Greenhouse is going to be for her purpose materials. Um, yeah, the other I uh, just buy the cheapest wood I uh, find lows because I'm not going to invest much. Um, just not going to do something very permanent here. Um, and just plastic for the store too. Um, and we will see how we go. I hope that can be like they can the life of this greenhouse well the plastic because the timber is timeless but the plastic can be two years so this is this is um 42 inches this is going to be the mommy. Why? Mommy, is he playing? For uh huh. Say hi. Oh, say hi. Hi. <laughs> I just have my <laughs> diagram here. It's not professional, so bear with me. Mommy. So. This is going to be for two inches. I have two of these and then two of these that is 57 inches. And I'm going to now put it together. Well, now the base is ready to uh, paint. So I can start cutting the other timber. Um, to do the walls of the greenhouse. This is going to be a very solid base that uh, I need so it don't move anywhere because the last year I make a greenhouse with bamboo because was the material I have I don't have the money to buy materials and oh, every time there was a storm that's my pity Blackie, that's my kitty Blackie. You can see she's precious, beautiful black tabby. <laughs> so, like I say, last time, last year, uh, was not good enough. Every time we were have a storm, well, the bamboo is very flexible, and you can guess what happened. So, hopefully, this is going to be better. And it's going to be solid and no wave together with the storms. Uh, now I'm doing the columns for the walls. I'm going to be four of them um, to form the four walls. It's going to be 60, 66 inches. And I'm going after I could fold them and cool the pieces even for the roof. Um, I'm going to sand it and paint it. And then after 
is going to be like three co coats of paint. After that, um, I'm going to put everything together. Hi guys. Well, as you can see, right now is almost done. Just put the chicken wire in the roof so it can have support when the wind with rain comes down. And then put the plastic and I have my greenhouse. I just have to put some <laughs> some shells and that's it. I'm going to have a manual greenhouse. And yeah, my garden is a mess, but it's winter. Everything is a mess in winter. Okay, see you in another. Um, right now I'm in the process of putting the plastic in the greenhouse. You can see I put chicken wire in the ceiling so when it's rain or um, the leaves of the tree, I have a lot of the trees so uh, the last couple of years my greenhouse always perish because they accumulate in the ceiling um, tree, uh, uh, tree leaves and water so hopefully this is going to prevent that this is going to prevent that and we're going to have a greenhouse that can withstand time that I need with everything. You can see is I don't know what the temperature outside is, but you can see it's almost 17 inside the greenhouse. I think outside is like a 68. So yeah. Is working even is is not completely sealed that like you can see now I'm just working in to make two timbers to put here so I can make a door and that help going to help me to hopefully flow fold um open the the plastic and don't um no on uh, um affect the red rest of the plastic in the greenhouse um it's tiny it's um 42 inches and 70 uh, 57 inches uh, so it's not too big it's i think it's six feet tall and that's it the this tiny greenhouse for my tiny garden now i'm building with a leftover timber um the the frame for the door frame so that's the project now um and i have to paint it wait for it to dry to put it uh, uh in the greenhouse screw it in the greenhouse and then finish um sealing the plastic in the greenhouse well you can see we already have our greenhouse totally covered in plastic and it has been a great job um we have our door that we made is just a piece of timber and we can roll up 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 sorry i'm going to do this wacky and we can place it in the hooks and that's going to be the entrance of the greenhouse and if we need to um open the greenhouse so the air can flow inside um we have that now i'm going to put a couple things in the greenhouse right now Especially this rose that my friend gave me and yeah the poor one I don't know why it's happening <coughs> so I'm going to put it there I will see in the morning how the come along
you can see it's a tiny greenhouse but I know yeah, with the shelves that can give me a lot of food a lot of space to propagate uh, my seeds um, I have to make the shelves everything with repurposed materials and I have to finish sealing this area that I just could bat the the material the plastic and just going to put the better on clear tape I can find the and oh, I have a lot of nans dying over there well their problem they just entered the greenhouse <laughs> okay and then the measures again is 42 inches 57 inches six foot tall and that's my greenhouse well thank you for everything and for see comment below if you like this video thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed and if you have enough questions of how to make it how much I spend well, I spend building, um, buying the materials I needed that I don't have in my hand. Well, for a uh, for I'm not in Britain, Anushka. I'm tired. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it was forty dollars max. Um, I put chicken wire in the roof, like you can see. My husband tell uh, helped me with the zip ties, and he helped me a lot uh, with all the things. Um, I don't, the wood I will use is not two by four, it's the, recommend, I recommend that more than the one I use, but I was in a budget and I just got what I have, uh, uh, what I needed, so it's not going to be like timeless, um, hopefully it's just going to be, it's going to be alive for one two years and the base is going to be timeless that that wood is the one that they use to build um the basis of house so that going to be timeless um but we always can change fix things like that um like i say if you like this video thumbs up if you're not subscribed subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. Adios.